Hey y'all and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and stick with the theme of loops, okay? However, I want to go ahead and connect a couple of dots, so to speak, all right? Over the course of the last few videos, we've covered MIDI stuff and we've also talked about some loop and real audio stuff. Now I'd like to combine a couple of those elements together, all right? What do I mean? Well, check it out. Let's go ahead and grab this loop right here, the Marilyn Who loop, and this can represent any free loop you might get off the internet or something that you might create yourself, okay? Let's go ahead and bring it on into my project and drop it. And then as you can see, it's a solid four bar loop. Want to hear it? Thought you would. Here it goes. As you can hear, it's a pretty standard type of thing, okay? Now in the last video, we spoke about pulling elements out of a loop to create a new beat all together. But now what I'd like to talk about is utilizing all of the elements within this loop to create a whole new feel. Check this out. For this one, I want to keep it at 16th notes, and I'm going to show you why. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And in order for what it is that I'm about to do to work really well, you should consider having your snap mode set to smart, okay? Just trust me on this. Let's go ahead and grab our scissor tool, and let's go ahead and hold our option button where we get that little plus sign, okay? Making sure that we have our loop selected. Let's come on to the second little line, which represents our second 16th note. The first 16th note is right here at the beginning of the beat. Second 16th, third, fourth, and then here's the beginning of our second beat, okay? But what I want to do is I want to hold this option button. I want to come to this second line right here and just, boom, clip it right there. Now we have 64 slices, okay? And I know that because there's four 16th notes within every beat. There's four beats per measure, and there's four measures. So we've got 64 new slices. Now I want to make sure I've got everything selected. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see what's going on. Now let's go ahead and right click or control click inside of the region there. And now we want to go ahead and convert this to a new sampler track. And then we'll be greeted with a convert regions to new sampler track window. I want to keep it at regions. Now you may want to go ahead and name this something else. I'm just going to name mine Marilyn Who. And as far as the trigger note range, this is going to tell Logic where you want all of these new zones to go on your sampler. Okay, now me personally, I like to start things off at C1, but do whatever works best for you and your project. Now let's go ahead and hit OK. And now we see a new MIDI region, which represents basically the loop that we just played. Check it out. See, it's the same thing. Let's get into the EXS real quick. And now let's come here to the edit button and press it. And now you can see that in our EXS instrument, we have 64 regions laid out all over the place. All of these gray squares represent little bits of slices. Okay. Now, for those of you who are new to recording, this may seem like a new concept, but believe me when I say this, it's been around for a while, and it's still used a lot today, as a matter of fact. Now, one of the stories of how all this started was people would use their MPC units or their SP-12 units. They'd go ahead and take a loop or a sample of something. They'd chop it up, bring it into their sampler, lay it out across their pads. Now, we're lucky because we're obviously able to lay it out across our keyboard if we so choose, but you can still use a trigger finger or an MPD unit or a nano pad or whatever you've got available. But nonetheless, since we chopped everything up and it's all laid out across the keyboard, now we can kind of make a whole new groove out of our previous loop. Check it out. And see, all of a sudden, you're coming up with a completely new idea that's inspired by all of the various sounds you just now sliced up from your original loop. How cool is that? But if that wasn't enough, check this out. Let's go ahead and get out of our EXS real quick, and I want to show you something else that's a whole lot of fun in my opinion. Let me go ahead and get into my screen set too, where I've already got my piano roll set up. So now, as you can see, we have all of our information laid out from C1 all the way up here to D sharp 6 right there. Now, you might be thinking, where is he going with this? Well, check it out. Let's go ahead and press Command A to select all of our MIDI notes. Now, what I want you to do is come up here in the piano roll now. I want you to come to the Functions menu. There's going to be a little drop-down menu right there. And now I want you to come on down to where it says Transform. Scoot on over here. Go down a little bit to Transposition. Okay? Now, all that we're going to worry about right now is this little bitty thing right here that says Add. Okay? I want to click on it. And now I want to go ahead and grab Random. Okay? Now what I'm about to do is tell Logic that I want it to randomly place these MIDI notes in between a certain region that I'm going to specify, okay? Now in order to specify the region, I'm going to click and drag up. I want it to be C1 all the way up to D sharp 6, and I'm doing this by clicking and dragging up. You can also do it by dragging down, and in some cases you can even double click and then manually enter some information. Check it out. 
I'm going to double click and press D, sharp, 6, and hit enter. Boom. Now, since I already have my mini information selected, I'm going to go ahead and hit operate and watch back here what happens. Boink. Looks like a mess, doesn't it? But it's not. Check it out. See, now we have an entirely different thing that just came out of left field, man. You know what I mean? So whenever you take that concept and you incorporate it with something, say, from Ultrabeat, you have got some crazy possibilities that all of a sudden happen for you, man. Check this out. First, let me go ahead and bring down the volume of my EXS. Now let's get out of the mixer. Now let's go ahead and press record and see what happens. So as you can hear, we have something that is totally different from what we originally started with. Check it out. Let's go ahead and mute these two regions. Now let's unmute this top one. And where that does sound really good in my humble opinion, now we have something that's even crazier than original. coolest thing about that is that it's completely ours okay so i want you to stick around women we've still got a lot of fun things left to talk about man thanks for watching bye bye